Hi, my loves. Jeremy, Lady Girl from Around Away, where we have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with some commentary, a more in depth commentary about this whole situation with Krishan and Tamar Braxton and her concert that recently took place in LA. So I wanted to say this um, make sure you like and subscribe. More importantly, I want you to subscribe because I'm trying to get to that what 10K by the end of the day, period, in a point blank. I hope you all are doing well. It's a lovely Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, we're here to play. We're here to stay. So let's just hop into it quickly. Tamar decided to hop on live on in, um, I don't even think it was a live, actually, she just posted. And she talks about the trauma that she's been through since this assault. Now, we've seen James um, at the dentist. He said he didn't want to show his face, but he had to kind of get some dental work done after this assault. And um, we all know that Krishan is a heavy hitter. Like, be so for real. We, we've seen her on the stage. We know that she probably had the henny. Okay? The henny. This henny got me. You know what I mean? And I don't think <laughs> that we are at all surprised at how... Um, intense this situation was backstage now let's get into the commentary with Tamar she goes on to say actually let me just play the video here so I'm not going to get into all of it because I mean like I feel like I feel like Tamar is being sincere when she says that I wanted her to be you know like under my wing like you know the tour is about second chances and you know i wanted to give her a chance to redeem herself and kind of really show her to to her audience like let's be clear the people who are showing up to a tamar braxton's show are not the same demographic that's showing up to a krishan rock show i mean <laughs> let's just call a thing a thing but i think it was nice to kind of extend um her the opportunity to uh you know be at her concert now I find it interesting that she said that she didn't have an opening, you know, and she didn't want Krishan to be the opening. I don't know if it's because it was going to be some funds involved. It's giving me very much like I didn't want to pay you. I just wanted you to come and do a quick walkthrough, which some people are okay with that and some people are not. Um, if I was invited onto a platform, let's just say of a podcaster who was very, very big and I just did a walkthrough, I was just showing up, I will be okay with that. Um, Krishan is a star one in her own right. I don't know how comfortable she felt about her song being played and, um, not being able to perform it. Now, whether that was communicated or not, whether the Henny had her a little cloudy, a little rowdy, and she felt like she was being attacked, um, or played or you know how these bitch you you trying to play me you trying to play me you know how these kids show up when they have this these unhealed traumas but um she went backstage and I really y'all intuitively I cannot see James saying anything that would kind of you know render him to get beat up to the point that he has a concussion which is what was stated from James that he said he had um, dental, you know, he had issues with his teeth, a, a, a chipped tooth, and he said gun damage, but I don't know if he meant gum damage. I'm hoping it was gum damage um, and not gun damage. But, y'all, Patty. Patty. If anybody know Patty the Bell, tag her in the video. Patty. Whoa. Bitch, I turned into Patty. You turned into Patty after eating this. Mmm, Patty. Patty, I, I just cannot see this very big and statue man, um, one, attacking this girl, becoming, you know, impeding on her personal space. But if she was out of her mind, um, who knows what really happened? A telltale sign is that this is the first time we've seen Krishan deactivate her Instagram, her social media. Any other time she would be outside, she would be popping in, she will still be posting, she'll be dragging it, she'll come, you know, she'll pull up on Jason Lee and just say how she felt or whatever the case. We have not seen her do that 
at all. The only person that came forth was Tommy, which, girl, we got to get into this whole Tommy situation. One second, okay? One second. Let's pause it for now. But the fact that she deleted her Instagram is giving to me she was advised by a lawyer, by legal representation, like, Krishan, you cannot mess this up. I need you to get off of social media and do not say or do anything else that's incriminating. That's what it says to me. Now, everybody has all of these theories and, oh, they, you know, she was trying to, they was trying to get a reaction out of her and let's, you know, do all of these things. That's because those are the type of people she had around her. I don't feel like Tamar needs um, that type of reaction and attention from a, a young girl who doesn't even have the same demographic, you know? Like, I mean, sure, you can be a Krishan fan and a Tamar fan. Sure, surely. And for sure, you might like... Krishan's one song and Tamar Braxton's albums, sure. But clearly, y'all, that, that that's not a thing. And I, and I don't understand why so many people are so caught up on this whole, oh, they were trying to, you know, use her for clout and this, that, and the third. Like, she had Tony the Braxton. Tony Braxton. Okay? They have been in the industry for years at this point. And not for nothing, Tamar, can, she can figure out a viral moment on her own. What I, what I saw was a younger sister. This is Tamar now. She's the baby of her family. Krishan's the baby of her family. I feel like Tamar probably saw a lot of herself in Krishan. They're both in Baltimore. They both got, you know, famous and, you know, got this money or, you know, whatever the case. Or from a sister's standpoint, from a woman's standpoint, from a mother's standpoint. She could have just been like, girl, pop out. Like, you're fun. You're a vibe. Like, yeah. You know, like, that's cute. That's cool. I did not get that she was trying to do anything ill intent. What I think was she was out of control. She was out of her, out of her mind and in her body by way of that Hennessy. And I, and I'm just curious to know why are we so quick to say, oh, well, they were looking for clout as if almost it's like, well, because she was looking for clout that it justifies Sean to lash out and attack in the way that she did. I mean, like we are literally glorifying these horrific behaviors and what are we really telling kids and 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 young girls who look up to her it's unhealthy for her her child and everybody else involved now now tommy inserts herself into the drama and is saying something like oh well, i wonder if her concert would have went viral if um Krishan wasn't there which I don't know if she just has a thing for Tamar or if she was just trying to take up for her baddie sister but Tommy not enough not right now and y'all let's just get into this tea really quickly Tommy allegedly or apparently leaked Kyle he's the owner of now not now a CV child um the neighborhood talk leaked the um what you call him leaked his sex tape because they were, you know, they were going back and forth. And I don't know what was said in the DMs because Tommy was on um, going back and forth with Tamar talking about, you know, calling her a Muppet, calling her out of her name. Like, Tommy, this has literally has nothing to do with you. And I, I would, would it, Tommy sees Krishan herself. Tommy made so many terrible decisions. <laughs> she like, girl, I don't want this girl to go to jail. Like, she feel like y'all the ops. No, she's out of control of herself. And you go into this space with Tony Braxton unbreak my heart that's like our Celine Dion and if we allow for these type of things to happen to us by way of us without checking it it makes it okay for others y'all know who I'm talking about to continue the disrespect I don't like it I don't like the idea of her really kind of doing any jail time I think that's you know a lot too she is a new mom y'all before anything I'm a mother I understand that but you know, James is a person. He, he. I, I feel like he didn't deserve anything that what he got either. Even if he did pop off at the at the mouth, like, come on, be so for real. And this culture, this baddy culture, this, you know, I'm just gonna do what I want. I'm, I, 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 like, has our minds warped about healthy relationships, healthy environments, boundaries, self control, the basic things that makes up a person of integrity and high moral regard i want to know what y'all think about this because y'all know i get into these moments child y'all know <laughs> get up on this soapbox but i really just feel like it's the whole situation is unfortunate and tamar speaks out everybody's jumping on her because th and this is another thing desirability politics has a lot to play in and tamar has done a lot of things in the past that's very gimmicky i don't think this is one of them 
So a lot of people are quick to jump on Tamar, but we really need to be focusing on the fact that this girl attacked this man and he needs dental work and has a concussion. Come on, y'all. At a, at a Tamar Braxton show, come on, y'all. This is this is real life. She's the is this network. This is becoming real life now. Y'all like so here on here to keep showing me riding. Or y'all gonna like the next with Justice for James. Let's leave Tamar out because I know a lot of people feel or touch and go about her. I wanna know what you think about the situation. Drop it in the comments. Let's discuss this. Child, let me let this one start go right on past, girl. Cause uh Y'all know how I go. I hope y'all having a good day. Um, anyways, as always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.